Hello and welcome to Cosmic Mind Group. And we present to you CMG Aura Space for a tea for beginners. Uh, I'll be your presenter. My name is Kujo, or you can call me Emmanuel. And this series, in fact, this is going to be a complete series for beginners, forex beginners. So if you are new to forex, then this is the right playlist for you. In fact, on this page, we have created uh, the intermediate uh, lesson, a series for the intermediate, right? So if you are someone who already knows the basics of Forex or knows something about money, yes, Forex or crypto or any sort of that thing, I think this is not the best material for you. So I would suggest on this page, we move toward the intermediate uh, class, the level, and then we begin from there. You don't have to waste your time. But this is actually for beginners, purely for beginners. So I am not going to waste much time on this. We are going to zoom in and then introduce you to the, the disclaimer of this profession or discipline, right? So if you are new to this, in fact, for every profession or every business, there are some downsides to that, right? Some businesses will start and then they will collapse. They will even dwindle for a minute and then they will bounce back, right? So for every profession, you have to know this and you have to start your mind. You should, you should, you should have that foreknowledge before you zoom in. So that's what you're going to do basically. You're going to introduce you to the overview, the course, whatever it entails, and then the disclaimer aspect of it. So that is it. So you are going to zoom in fast. So for the disclaimer, this this is the forest master class series for beginners, organized organized by CMG RIC. This is a step-by-step -step guidance to sharpen your forex building uh, trading skills and trade pro profitably. That's analyzing the financial markets on your own, right? So that, this is what we are going to do. We are going to teach you the basis of that. They will move to the intermediate and then move to the advanced. The main purpose of this forex series is to help you do technical analysis on your own, whereby you don't have to buy uh, signals from other uh, traders of that sort, because that also have a, have a downside have a downside to that corporate trading in some uh, pro firms or some brokers, they do not like corporate trading, right? It is best, best for you to do analysis on your own, right? You have to fish for yourself. So that's what you are going to do. Now, and then be informed that this financial market is a very volatile one, right? For foreign is a very volatile one. So you have a look at that. And hence, seek financial advice from experts before embarking on this voyage, right? So it's very important that you have the advice on this before you can actually zoom in or maybe trade or maybe invest in this, right? So we are, we are going to, the, our main focus is to teach you. We are not going to advise you uh, on your financial or whatever. We, we, that's not the main purpose of this page, right? So we are going to give you the skill the guidance to that, that's the main purpose of this. Unless otherwise you can maybe come to us personally or contact us, that's what we can do for you. So that is it. So uh, our course overview for the introduction of the uh, history of money, the first stage is going to be what is forex, right? And then we move to what is traded on forex. We have trading times and trading sessions, currency pairs, Right, dying and selling, deduction to broker, what broker, what broker, eh, what, what, what are they? If you say a broker, what are they? What do they do? What is their function in this uh, profession or discipline? Right, we look at some ten, uh, technologies, in fact, technologies, and then uh, understand them, know what they do, and then all that. Then we do forms of trading, right? Forms of trading analysis. That's the main focus of this playlist. In fact, we have a number of them, but all the playlists are going to look at that. Our main purpose is to help you do technical analysis. Then you look at what MT4, the MT5, the, the interface, right? You have 
an interface. Look at what what is actually on this interface. The three the tools that we use there. Then we move to stage two, right? Stage two we we'll talk about the type of tasks. We we'll look at types of what traders. We we'll look at leverage. What is the leverage? So we we'll move to the second what uh, technologies, right? The first one. Look at the first one. It's very basic. We we'll move to the like a bit advanced one. Some technology, and then look at them. That will be the, uh, the, the leverage, the margin, the equity, and then look at what, what is pits or what are pits, the concept of what bid, and then ask price, prices, what is spread. Look at them, the forms of trading order, right? What kind of orders can you actually place in forest or on your broker, right? On your MT4, MT5, whatever. Then look at the concepts of a take profit and then take loss, whatever. Take profit and stop loss, look at that. Then look at the uh, lot size, right? And I think the final one will be on risk management, introduction to risk management. So this is what we are going to do in this playlist. So this episode, episode one, is an introductory one, an overview one, that's what we're going to look at. So with that being said, we are going to move to the, um some some disclaimers right we have to inform you beforehand that um the, the, the good side of uh, forex and then the the, the the bad side of it in fact like i said every profession has downside to it right it's a it's a, it's a matter of what how you manage your resources right how you manage your resources that is the most important thing so as if you, if you are able to stick with that, we teach you what is risk management, right? And then look at what psychology, alongside the main point of what technical what analysis. So that's what we're going to do. Now, initially, I didn't want to actually do this with you. I would just have time to scroll. I, I, I wanted to just scroll through um, the pages so that you can actually pause the videos and then watch. Then from there, we continue. But on a second thought, I think I have to actually read it with you, right? I have to actually read it and treat it with you, with some reading through, through them. Because to me, I think it's very, very, very important than the scripture. Because the, 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 the important thing in this profession is to have idea of what you are actually going to uh, and enjoy yourself in, right? So I have to take my time and then go through this discipline. There are about five of them. So just to me, I know this is going to be boring somehow. I know some of you are, are, are actually ready and then they can't even afford to lose any small time into what, learning this. But stick with me, be patient. Because it's even one of the virtues that we are going to look at in this profession, patient. So please, please be patient, even with me. Um, even doing this, I think it's even taking time of time, more time of that, but I think, just stick with me. So that is it. So you are going to look, is forex any good? Is it good? Is it a good thing? So that's going to be that. Now, protect yourself before you wreck yourself. That is it. Protect yourself before you wreck yourself. You have to know the ins and outs. What you are actually going to get yourself involved, right? Now, before we go any further, we are going to be 100%. But I am going to be 100% honest with you and tell you the following before you consider trading what currency. Right, forex is basically about trading currency, right? Now, one, all forex traders, and I do mean all traders, lose money on trades. So you may have heard that forex is very lucrative, and then within a month, you can make millions of what dollars. Of course, it is, it is true. Again, it's not a bad of rules. This profession is not a, a holy deal, right? You lose some and you, you, you gain some. It's about a matter of what managing what your money, the ones that you are able to gain, manage it well, right? So it's never true that uh, you always win in this profession. You lose at times and then gain at times. But the ones that you gain, what do you do? You protect them. Now, 90% of traders lose money, largely due to lack of planning, training, discipline, and having poor money management rules. If you hit to lose or are a super perfectionist, you also probably have hard time adapting to trading because all traders use a, use a trade at some point or another. 
See, training forex is not for the unemployed, those on low income, they need they need deep in credit card debt or who can't afford to pay their electricity bill or afford to eat. So you have at least ten thousand of trading capital in a mini account that you can afford to lose. Don't expect to start an account, an account with a few hundred dollars or uh, mm -hmm. expect to become a billionaire. So let me just put this one in, 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 let me just summarize what it means here. So like I said, there are a lot of us who have the information, we have been informed even before they even start trading that. Uh, or is very lucrative, and then within a month or so, you can make a lot of money. Now, that shouldn't be the, your, your focus. If you do that, you are going to you're going to wreck yourself. That is a bad advice. Misinformation out there, right? Uh -huh. So if you are coming, you should be prepared to, to make it with time. Not because you think you are you are hard up. There's no money. You are you are very broke. So you are coming within two months one month to make it. No, in fact, this profession is not a gambling site. You don't do gambling here. It's only in the gambling that you can uh, hope to make it within a month or maybe within some minutes or that. This is not a gambling. This is actually a profession, right? So when you come, relax. And then with the capital, don't worry yourself about the capital. But initially, that was what was the problem. But now there are some means that you can actually get the capital, huge capital. To actually, to actually trade, right? So, if you, if you may have heard of what uh, what programs are, they can actually help you. Sometimes you can even help uh, get funds and maybe uh, investors, right? Investing when you actually have the skill. So that is why our main focus should be on what acquisition of skills, the knowledge, not on the money. If you are able to acquire the knowledge, you will have the opportunity. Of getting the capital right to, to actually work trade. So bear in mind, trust me on this. If you stick with me to the advanced level, I will uh, actually explain, expose you to this benefit. So that is it. Now, on point three, point three, the forest market is one of the most popular markets for speculation due to its enormous size liquidity and tendency of, for currency to move in strong trends. If you think, if you, you, you would think traders all over the world what, would make a killing, but success has been limited to very small percentage of traders, right? So what it means is simply that um, there are a lot of traders out there. In fact, when it comes to the amateurs like you, there are a lot of you. And then when these people come in, that's when they, they come with a gambling spirit, right? Uh -huh. So they see that this uh, lavishing um, lifestyle of them, the senior uh, what, uh, forest traders on social media, and they, are get, they, they get their, their appetite weight, right? And this actually can affect you because when you see their, their, their lavish lives on, on social media, when you come, your intention and your main focus is on what the money, but not on the skill. So you come and then you come with, with this gambling spirit. And this is going to be very detrimental to your trading capital, in fact, to your trading life. And then one thing that is disappointing is that when this has happened, we tend to go out there and then give this misinformation and then give this tirade about forex that it is it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a scam. You hear, in fact, when you, in fact, when you start this, this profession, even among your families or friends might say that this is a gambling thing or it's a scam. But the point is, they do not know the, the, the whole truth about this. It's a misconception. So when it comes, you should also do well not to get yourself into this word, misconception. Come as a, 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 a professional and actually do the learning work. Well. And this is going to make a huge a, a huge money, a huge profit for you. So that is the now point four. The problem is that many traders come with the misguided hope of making a lot of what, but a lot of money, a lot of money. That is, they come with this misconception that he and wants to be billionaire and millionaires 
within some few years and months. No, don't do it yet. Because if, if you are a student, right, especially when maybe um, you are, you have been to the university before, or yes, you are, you are, maybe you are a graduate, or in fact, you are even schooling now. When you go to the school, you have four years, two to three, uh, three to four years, to actually get a degree, right? And then when, when this, this time, what do you do? You actually dedicate your time, your resources, your efforts, you do some sacrifices, you actually come out with it. And then you put your hope, and your hope is what? A long time, a long time was planned, right? You wait for four years. So how do you expect to come into this forex business and then within months you want to make a lot of bad, a lot of dollars? Be a billionaire, billionaire, live a lavish no, no, no. That's not true. I am not saying that this lifestyle is not is not possible. I'm not saying that it's not possible. In fact, it is possible. Some of the, 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 the traders that you see online, they are actually making it, right? They are actually making it, and that can be true. But I want you to be on the safer side, right? Of what? Putting your emotions and your, 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 your mindset, your beliefs in check so that you don't get yourself wrecked. So that's my, my advice to you. Right, so that's my advice. I have, to be, um, in fact, with this with this series, I want to keep things very plain to you, right? Uh -huh. And then, if you are um, an advanced trader or whatever, and you are reading this or you are maybe watching this, which I don't want your your comments because there are some terms or there are some some level that I may not introduce them or even explain them better in this series because. I'm doing it for, for beginners, right? So if you think you are an, an intermediate student, move to the intermediate one. If you advance, move to the advanced one playlist. Let's do it that way. Because I want to try as much as possible to explain things to the minimum, to the rudiments level, level. So that is my focus here. So if you are a senior to that, don't worry yourself, you just move to the next one. So that is it. Now, point five. Now, short term, uh, short term training is not for amateur, right? It is really the path to get rich quick. You can't make gigantic profit without taking gigantic what risk. A training strategy that involves taking a massive degree of risk means top train, top train what inconsistent training performance and large losses. So a trader who does this prob probably doesn't even really have a training strategy unless you call you call it what a gambling whatever a gambling strategy, right? So that is it. So what it means is that if you are an amateur, you don't expect what to make it within some some few months or some few period, uh, short period. No, that is what the point five is talking about. So the fact that we are saying you know, for amateur doesn't mean that the amateurs cannot what learn and become pro, because this series is actually for the amateur. So why can we say that it's not for the amateur? So what it means is that just learn and stick to your level. Just look at your niche. Concentrate on yourself, on your skills, emotions, your dedication. So that is what you have to look at. Now, point six. Forex trading is not a get rich quick scheme. Forex trading is a skill that it takes time to learn. Right? Still traders can do, can and do make money in this field, correct? Now, however, like any other occupation or career, success doesn't just happen overnight. Forex trading isn't a piece of cake, as some people would like you to believe, right? So if you have, like I said, this, this is going to repeat itself a number of times. This is not just to get a rich, a, a rich quick scheme, right? It's not a gambling site. Don't come here with all your money, putting all your money into this uh, uh, profession, into your account, and then with the gambling spirit, within a minute, you want to make it huge. No. Because let me, let me, let me be honest with you. For amateurs, you are going to make a lot of mistakes. A lot. A lot of mistakes. So that is why it's advised that if you are an amateur, I want you to start. You don't even have to trade what with uh, the money or the capital that you cannot afford to lose, right? 
So even for some of the, the mentors, they even prefer that their students start with what um, paper trading. So what is paper trading? Is, yes, it means uh, doing demo trading. You found that account. It's a free money that they give you. You can even put as as any amount of money that you want in this world. The whole world's money into that account and trade. And that is not going to have any effect because they are not going to have profit from that money. The, whatever profit you make or losses that you make is, is, is not the real money. But we use that platform to actually work learn. So we realize that through that paper trading, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. So it is through these mistakes that what you learn, you adjust, you undo and do, right? You get your niche, right? You know your strength. Right, and then you get to know even what type of what currency you should trade, how you should trade, when you should trade, right, and how much you should trade. You see, so that is very important. Now, point seven. Now, think about this. If it was everyone trading, okay, everyone trading would would already be. So what it means is that if everyone was trading, right, not all of us would would be millionaires. We make it in this profession. <laughs> that is that is um this is this is very uh, this is a paradox right it is it is it sounds contradictory but it's very true a lot of students are losing so that is where they resort to the fact that uh uh to the idea not the fact to the idea that it's a scam because they are not doing what is required of them to actually make it so if you are doing the wrong thing, what do you expect? You, you, you are starting losing. Huh. So to do the right thing, in order to get whatever you want, if you do the wrong thing, you, you know. So whatever you sow is what you are going to actually wait. So, and in fact, it is a human nature. And then I think the problem, not even I think, the problem is that we are impatient. We are not willing to learn. We are not willing to sacrifice. We are not willing to dedicate. We are not willing to humble ourselves. So that is the problem. So a lot of people are trading. There are a lot of traders, but few, just a minute of the percentage are actually making it. And this is not my my what my portion for you. I want you to relax. Just stick with me. If you stick with me, you this thing. I promise you, they're going to make it because I've what <laughs> I've, 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 I've really what uh given my quota, <laughs> I've, I've paid my dues when it comes to uh, uh losses, it is part of the game, but it's about how you actually manage this what losses. So that is important. Please don't take these things for granted. In fact, I was supposed to just skip through this video. One, uh, the, um, what is it? This uh, disclaimer for you to read it yourself. You know, in movies and other uh, other actors, they, they 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 don't read their disclaimer to you, right? If you be honest, they don't they don't read it. They just just present it within some one minute. I think one minute is is, is at is, is, is at most. Within some seconds, they just give it. The you read whatever you read or you, you don't read it. They don't care. The important thing is they getting whatever they want to uh, put across to you. But I have taken my time to actually do this one, right? So it's very important. You read through them, and then you will be good to go. So that is it. So now let's look at what the requirement. What is actually needed of you to, to, to embark on this journey, right? So the requirements we, are, we need is what? Your mindset. A good mindset for that matter. A good mindset. A, dedica a, a dedicated spirit. Are you willing to learn? Are you willing to acquire that knowledge? That's the important thing for you. Now, the second thing, this is not listed in any, in, in any order. It's just yes and yes. The second thing would be laptop or a mark or whatever, any device your laptop would be. If you have a, if you have a mark, yeah, okay, your laptop. Some can even start with phone. 
I know you have been there before when you actually have nothing. You do not have enough. You have even get the laptop. <laughs> so, and in fact, trading on the phone is very difficult when it comes to the Amazon. It's very difficult. But if you have this dedicated, I know of people who actually started with what? Only phone. And now they are doing well and then they have the access to the things, whatever that they, they want to acquire. What? Learn. So I think the laptop will do a phone, a good phone in, in proper shape will do. Right. And then your, your, your phone and internet connection, that's all. Every phone, this, this is the, the, the new era. Everyone who has a phone <laughs> who will definitely have um, an internet connection because with that internet, your phone is just like a young. It will not do anything, right? And then you have a book and then a pen to take some notes. We are going to it. Now, every point that I stress, please take note of them because it means that we, re re we revisit them. In, a, in, in another level, right? Huh. So that is important. That, that, that is the important thing. At any point that I stress, please take note of them. Jot them down and then have the book. After what they give you, have some book. Even in fact, as I'm teaching you now, as I'm doing this video, I have what? A book with me, look fast. Then I'm making some points. I have it always with me. Naturally, I, I wasn't the type who, who uses what? Dario or... Um, uh, and this part, and then what made it worse? But uh, when uh, when uh, this, uh, um, I started use the phone, the notepad on the phone. So you see, right? But for this, I recommend that you get an actual book, book, a good one, right? Uh -huh. Purposely for this, and then you jotting them things down, underlining them, and then revisit them. If there are some points that I know for your level. I might think they might, they might be too advanced for you. So I only just uh, touch on them and then maybe revisit them later. So if you are a good student and you are willing to learn, one of the points that I, I, I stress is on jot them down onto your book, into your notes. Then later you can look it up uh, YouTube or Google and then do that on your own. Right? Uh -huh. But if I advise not to do them now, then just stick to that because I don't want any confusion now. So that is important. Then they have the minimum capital for investment. Then yeah, that we get it. That this should be a secondary thing, right? I don't even want you to uh, concern yourself with it now. Now, now, don't even concern yourself with that now. The capital, no. So, so that is it. So this will be the end of what uh, this episode. So thank you very much for sticking with us. Um, please like and subscribe, and then even share. So that's it. Thank you very much. See you in the next um, episode. Bye.